Welcome to my DxToy tutorial. First of all, you're going to need the program DxToy. On this home page, as you see here, there is a download link. Click that, download, and install the program. Be warned, there is a watermark when recording your videos. To get rid of that watermark, you need to buy the program. It costs 46 US dollars. If you want to bypass that route, I'm sure there's other places on the internet where you can find the program itself, but I am not going to tell you how to do that. Also, you're going to need uh, the X264 codec, and I use the Lame ACM audio codec. As you can see right here is the website that you're going to need to go to. Uh, you're going to need to download both of these to make sure that it works properly in uh, the DX Tory program. Also, the Lame ACM codec can get here at Softpedia. Just download from the US Mirror, uh, unzip it, install it, and you're good to go. Now off to the program. As you can see here, this is the overlay setting tab. You want to make sure all these are check marked. The folder tab. This is where you're going to store your videos that you recorded your gameplay. Um, as you can see, I have three different hard drives. Just make sure one's selected. Uh, if you want to create a default folder for it, you can. You can browse here for the folder that you created to uh, have all your videos go to when you're recording. Also, this is the benchmark button. Shows you exactly how fast your hard drives are. Uh, that's what you want to see, how fast it is. That's fine as long as it's at least 63 megabytes or 60 megabytes per second. Then you're good to go. Uh, on the hotkey tab setting, I have F11 for me to start my videos and to stop my uh, video captures. Uh, that's what I have set, and that's the only thing that I use, and I only use the F11 button. Now off to the capture uh, movie uh, options. As you can see here, the X264 VFW codec is what I use. Uh, you also want to make sure that the 60 FPS is selected, file output, directional output. Make sure the file format is AVI. Also synchronize video FPS while you're recording. As you can see, I only record at 720p. That's what works best for me. Uh, I get great videos and that's all I need for really for myself. Other people may want to go up to 1080p but do remind you that uh, you have to have a very fast hard drive for that to happen. That's what uh, raw cap conversion is for. If you have raw cap selected and have two different kinds of hard drives selected and stuff to record your videos too. Well, again, if you want to do it that way, you have to go here to raw cap conversion and that will convert all those files that it captures separately on each of those to convert it to one video. But that's for if you want to do that. I don't recommend that. Uh, for the settings for the codec for the X264 VFW, as you can see here, you want to make sure that single pass quantizer based is selected uh, and 23 uh, in the quantizer. Also, make sure your settings are all set exactly as you see here. Now to analysis and coding, this is what I use. And this, these are my settings. Um, I'm going to make sure that all these check marks are checked here. Uh, make sure that's check marked. Uh, just take a quick look at it. See exactly what you need to do to be able to get it exactly the way these settings are. Um, that's about it for that. Hit OK. For the audio, like I said, I use the lame MP3. Uh, this is for when I'm playing the video game. It just records for my uh, high speaker definitions. If you want to use like your microphone and whatnot, make sure you select this plus button. And you can add um, your microphone if you want to use your microphone instead. Plus also with uh, the in-game sound. But I don't do that, so get rid of that. Also, screen capture, you don't need to worry about any of those settings. Uh, advanced settings, <coughs> make sure that you have an eagle enabled synchronous service lock and wait for available buffer and processing threads set to 4 since I have a 2500K. If you have a 2600K <coughs> or an 8 thread processor, set it to 8. Also I have limit video FPS to 60. And that is pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, also this program beats any other program down, hands down. I mean, Fraps, MSI Afterburner, Bandicam, nothing comes close to the audio quality and the compression that you're going to get with this. 
Uh, usually I get probably about 200 megabytes per minute when uh, using DxTory. Uh, of course, you know with Fraps, that's probably about 4 gigabytes. Um, this program hands down beats all of those. With those settings that you've seen that I've showed you, you will definitely get those numbers exactly with the highest quality video and lowest compression available and the lowest file sizes around. Hope you enjoyed uh, this tutorial and uh, I will post the links for the audio codec, the X264 codec, and also a free video converter. You can also convert your videos and stuff that you record with the X264 codec, like say if the video was like say one gigabyte, it'll compress it down to say like 300 megabytes, so it'll be easier for you to upload to YouTube. So again, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and have a great day.